Hey, what is up everyone? And today I'll be looking at Figma 198 Strength TV Animation version from the anime Black Rock Shooter. And because of delays and Max Factory's staggered release schedule, this is a pre-Figma 200 box, so that means it's the old design. The last few Figma I've looked at were in the new style box, which has slowly grown on me, and now the old style box looks a bit busy and messy in comparison. And even the pictures on the box kind of look a little bit all over the place compared to the new design. Hey, but who cares? It's what's in the inside that counts, so let's bust it open and check out what we got. This is one of the better aspects of the older box design, a DI stage segment with a black rock shooter checker design and an ogre fist symbol on it. Checking out that inner packaging and there's the figure itself as well as two alternate faces and those awesome huge ogre fists. Flipping it around to the back and we've got a whole load of stuff back here, including strength's tail, alternate upper arm parts and the rest of the parts for the arms. Opening it up further and in the bottom of the box is the usual clear plastic bag, but this time it's a little bit different. Instead of one stand that you usually get, this time there's three, as well as three bases and a rack of four hands. Also included is the sheet of instructions. Open that up and you'll have the list of included parts. And open that up one more time for the instructions on how to put everything together. And last, but by no means least, is the figure itself, which looks fantastic. So let's take a closer look at that. What can I say that I haven't said multiple times before? Of course this looks great, it's a Figma. Strength's costume has been awesomely executed. The clothing parts are painted in a matte paint, whereas the mechanical segments, like on the dress and the hood, are painted with a gloss paint, which really makes them stand out. The detailing on the eyes peeking out of the hood is perfect, and the hair sculpt looks great so far. But it's the hood that really steals the show with the awesome contrasting white flames and that cool looking zipper in the front. The detailing on this figure is exactly as you would expect from a good smile release and that's to say it's as good as it gets. Like that small ribbon detail on the socks and those awesome mechanical sections. As for accessories, that's where this figure really shines as it comes with a lot of extra plastic. And the majority of that makes up the parts of the arms. As well as the default expression up here, we have two alternate faces. A rack of four alternate hands. The massive pair of ogre fists. All the other parts for the ogre fists. This part here for attaching both fists to one arm. Upper arm sections that attach the mechanical arms to the figure. Strength's tail. As well as a stand and a base for both ogre fists. Now a closer look at each of the accessories starting with a rack of hands. With this figure there's a pair of open hands and a pair of hands for holding things. Next are the absolutely awesome ogre fists. As well as being huge, each of the digits have great articulation for poses and hand gestures. Hey Strength, how about one of these? Down along here we have a whole load of stuff that's also part of the arms as well. And we have the awesome alien-esque tail over here. And it looks savage. It can also twist at various parts along its length, so it lies at different angles, so that's pretty cool. Now we'll look at some of the arm parts. This is the standard arm section, and it has a bit of articulation here, as well as over on this end as well. Also with the standard versions, we also get this double version as well. It serves the same purpose as the standard one, but it's for attaching two ogre fists to the same arm, and the articulation on this is pretty much the same as that of the standard one. Now let's have a look at how you attach this monstrous hand. On the underside of them there's this connection point and that slots into this part here, into one of the three holes on the side of it. Then you take the arm section and this end connects to the side of the part that was just attached to the yoga fist. And this is what the complete mechanical section of the arm looks like when it's all put together. From here you slot the alternate upper arm part into this hole here at the end of the arm like this. And then to attach to strength you just remove her arm and connect this on at her shoulder, and there you have it. Strength with her ogre arm attached. Hey, nice to meet ya. Those ogre fists are really heavy, so you have to use the stand to pose them. And the stands just attach into the holes on the back ends of the fists here and here. Because the fists are so heavy, Strength doesn't live up to her name here and can't support them at all. So getting dynamic poses can be really tricky. So what I find is the best way to do it is to pose the fists first on the stands. Then just attach the figure, but it's still kinda difficult. 
To attach the double ogre fists, it pretty much goes together in the exact same way as the standard arm. You just attach these two large sections on like this, attach the strength's arm, and attach the two fists. Now she's packing one hell of a punch. As for faces, we have the default normal face, as well as this sidewards grinning face, and this crazy face. Swapping the faces is the same as with most Figma. You just remove the front section of the hair, pull off the face, and stick the face you want on it, then just pop the hair back on. And the last accessory I'll be looking at is our hood. It's made out of that cool Figma soft plastic, so the hood can lift up and down like this. So to put her head in there, you just lift up the flap, and just pop the head in there like this. So that's it for the accessories, let's see the awesome strength in some poses. Now a quick look at the articulation, and I'm going to work from the head down. At the neck she's got a little bit of a tilt side to side. Articulation to the front, and all the way to the back. Arm articulation at the shoulder all the way up. And you can spin that all the way around as well. Decent articulation at the elbow here. And what more could you ask for at the wrist? As for the creepy mechanical part here on this side, you've pretty much seen this already, so it's the same as you saw before. Waist articulation forward and back, as well as side to side. Kicking the leg up all the way to the front, and all the way to the back. The bend at the knee, extension and flexion at the ankle and there's a bit of twist side to side here and lastly just a quick comment on the quality and there really isn't much to say about this figure besides that it's fantastic but one minor gripe would be how hard it is to pose and that's not really a quality issue per se the fists are big and heavy and don't connect together very securely so they will fall apart a lot until you get used to posing it and it can be a bit frustrating at times as well as that, this section at the back of her dress keeps coming untucked, and it can be a bit tedious tucking it back in, but that's all really. So that's it for my review of Figma Strength TV animation version. What can I say, even for a Figma, this is impressive, and that's saying a lot. There's a lot of Figma out there, as awesome as they are, they just don't come with enough stuff, and when they're on display, they can look a bit, well, underwhelming. But not this one. When posed with her huge ogre fists, Figma strength stands out much more than your standard 1-12 figure, and will be very noticeable at first glance. Combined with a really nice level of detail, a perfect Max Factory paint job, and extremely expressive facial expressions, it looks amazing up close as well. Figma in my opinion is the best small scale action figure line on the market, and this one is impressive even by that standard, and one of the best I've seen to date. So I would definitely recommend a purchase. As always, thank you very much for watching and come back again for more Figma reviews.